Look at that, just pure headshots. This thing is insane one hit. So this is the absolute maxed out version. This is the most damage it is going to be able to do. Ah, here we go, guys. We did it round 55, first try. Eel. All right, and welcome back, guys. And boy, am I glad to be making this video. This is going to be the first Pack-A-Punch testing video of this year. If you guys are new to this series or this channel, every single time a new weapon comes out for Black Ops Cold where we take it into zombies, we max it out, and we see how it compares to every other weapon in the game. We're going to get this to all the way to the max pack. We're going to get orange tier. Right now, the single best AR in the entirety of Cold War Zombies is the FFAR. And with my limited testing of this weapon, we've already got Dark Aether for it. We've already maxed out all the attachments. I think this might dethrone the FFAR. I think there is a chance. It is very good. It is a very strong AR. However, you can't currently unlock this in Cold War. The only way to unlock this is by playing Modern Warfare 2019. I've got a full guide linked below if you want to go in and unlock this yourself. But yeah, I have a feeling this might be a top 10 weapon, even if not higher than that. Because if this can dethrone the FFAR, the FFAR would make a top five list for me. So we'll just have to see. That is the goal. Obviously, I've got to go pack a punch this, get the FFAR. We're going to max them both out, test them side by side. While I'm doing that, if you're new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate that. And on top of that, I've got to give a massive thanks to everyone who's going to like, comment, and watch this video in its entirety, because that massively helps me and my channel out. And I am just so glad to be doing another Pack-A-Punch testing video again. Rampage Inducer! I think the last Pack-A-Punch testing video we did was for the Hammer and Sickle, and that was like super early November. So it has been a very long time, and obviously these videos take a little bit while to make because we have to go all the way to round 55. We are going to be testing this out on the health cap of Cold War. That way we can see exactly how this weapon is going to perform all the way on round 100. Starting off with the Rampage Inducer on, if you're aiming for headshots, this thing is absolutely just slapping zombies zombies one thing i noticed while testing this in mp the hip fire on this weapon is some of the best hip fire it definitely beats the ffar out and like look at that this is without dead shot the hip fire on this is going to get a lot better oh, oh we're gonna go down having to reload the hip fire on this is gonna get a lot better once we get dead shot but it just dude and look at how quick it reloads without speed cola this is the uh, bottom mag and at the end of this video we are going to have our full attachment set up if you want to see that at the very end if you want to know what the best attachments to run on this are but initial assessment spawning in with this the quick reload speed's awesome and the hip fire is amazing and okay yeah i've got dead shot now and this is probably one of the best hip firing guns of the entire game especially this is definitely the best hip firing ar the some of the smgs might beat it out but look at it look at this hip fire look at that just pure headshots this thing is insane one hit fire. We've also got a Megaton, so we can test it out. We're not going to grab that. I want to see what we can do to the Megaton without insta-kill and see how effective it is. We can walk our way around. Come on. Come on, buddy. I don't want to see your zombie friends. I want to see you. Yep. No, nope, too many, too many zombies around. Too many zombies around. So it's doing pretty decent damage. It's doing about 200 and, you know, 25 damage per headshot before we pack-a-punch it. Now we're going to pack-a-punch it. Ooh, look at that camo coverage. Get a nice little inspect going. And yeah, now it is absolutely frying go ahead do some damage to him Ooh, okay okay you know he's he's kind of he's kind of dealing some damage back to us one thing that's gonna one thing that makes this ar very good in zombies is the fire rate the way cold war's damage system works and the damage rounding the faster uh, any sort of weapon fires the faster firing a weapon the better off it is that's why the ffar performs so well in zombies same things when it comes to smgs usually the faster the fire rate the better it works because on higher rounds once you get high damage weapons you lose a lot of the damage of the weapon due to like damage rounding but that doesn't really affect faster firing rate weapons at all and this thing is this thing is nice keep in mind it's only round 14 we're also going to test it on higher rounds uh, the Pack-A-Punch name is the Dragon Executioner. And I said this on stream the other day. I don't, like, it's a cool name, but how does it have anything to do with this weapon? Usually the weapons have some correlation. It legitimately looks like they went into Google and they typed in, like, a random name gener generator and it picked two random words. It's like, Dragon Executioner. Like, I like the name. It just, it seems kind of weird for this weapon. I don't know what about this weapon makes it a dragon or an executioner. But uh, nevertheless, let's go ahead and grind out some more. I got to get the FFAR, so that way we can test it out against that. And we also got to max this bad boy out. Da -na 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 -na. All right, it is time that we upgrade this a little bit more. We still got the red tier on it, so let's go ahead. Green tier, and then you know what? Blue tier and purple tier. Not wasting any time maxing this bad boy out as quick as possible. Ooh, two 
1,800 damage per headshot. Keep in mind that is doubled because we have dead shot. And with the dead shot effect, it does double damage for a first headshot. But uh, yeah, it is more than enough to one shot headshot on round 21 with the insane fire rate that it has. So dude, I really do think this could be a contender. Maybe we'll be shocked. Maybe it's just been a while since I played this game and the FFAR is still a lot better than this. But uh, that's why we're making this video to find out. Yeah, I absolutely love the hip fire on this. But now it is time to pack a punch this get the nuke nice easy quick time to pack a punch get that sweet sweet green pack a punch camo you know this pack a punch camo isn't amazing it's not anything special i would consider this to be one of the most basic pack a punch camos like it's just a basic pack a punch camo but look at how it glows in the dark dude this thing is just even though it's just basic it is so much better than the vanguard pack a punch camos that don't have any sort of light up effects like this is oh oh ah! so let's see uh insta kill is not gonna do anything right well we can't tell how much damage is doing because we got insta kill so let's see a headshot right now if we completely miss uh was that a headshot so we're doing 5,600 ish damage. Let's take down this dude real quick. Let's, ooh, look at that. Hip fire only shredding him. Now, all we have to do to max this bad boy out is pack it one more time and tier upgrade it one more time, which is going to cost, you know, the 30,000 and the 100 of the salvage. And hopefully, in the meantime, we're able to get the FFAR because that is also going to have to be maxed out. Ah, so no luck so far in getting the FFAR. However, we do have enough to go ahead and get this orange tier rarity. So now we've got the golden dragon executioner and we can also get the final pack of bunch. So this is the absolute maxed out version. This is the most damage it is going to be able to do. Let's go ahead, give it a check out. And on round 33, I think it's still one shotting. Almost, almost. It's almost still one shotting. I don't know. I've still got pretty high hopes for this. I've been enjoying using it. It is very, very strong. And now, if I can just get the freaking FFAR, dude, that's one thing I hate about Cold War. I feel like I'm constantly buying the box trying to get weapons. They did the same thing that Black Ops 4 did, which I don't know if there's an easy solution to fix this. All the DLC weapons end up in the box. So if you're going for a specific weapon, there's like 50, 60 different items, and it is... Oh, I don't know if there is a better solution, but uh, it is it is annoying to say the least. Finally, here is the FFAR. Unfortunately, we don't have enough to pack a punch it fully. Oh, oh, gonna you know how many times I have gone down trying to pack a punch weapons in the middle of a round? Just, you know, I forgot that the first time you pack it, there is like a huge animation that takes a few seconds. I mean, it obviously the pack a punch machine takes the animation. The older games, it was a lot more than that. But the first time, I don't know why it seems to take absolutely forever and i have all game sound off let's turn that back on Ooh, there we go nice apply blueprint custom mods best in class and whoo look at that so nice that the apply blueprint feature works i just wish it worked a little bit earlier on in the game's life cycle so now we've got to get to health cap which is round 55 and then we'll test both of these side by side once we achieve that and i've also got to pack a punch the ffar one more time Ew. all right round 45 let's go ahead give it a test on round 45 see how it performs and then we'll do the side by side comparison on round 55 so shooting into the horde with no ammo mods and yeah, round 45, this thing is absolutely shredding zombies still. We've only got 10 more uh, rounds till we get to the health cap. And uh, well, yeah, now we've got insta kill. But you guys saw from what we were killing, this thing's actually holding up very, very well. Ah, here we go, guys. We did it. Round 55, first try. No crashes, no blue screens. And I'm so happy about that. During the middle of this game's life cycle, it was so unstable. Sometimes it would take us three or four days to get to round 55 because we would crash every single time but i'm glad this game is so much more stable here the reason we go to round 55 this is the current health cap of zombie so however the new vargo 52 performs right now it's going to perform like this all the way around 100 round a thousand any round you go to this is exactly right here is how it's going to perform also got the ffar going to be testing it side by side so starting off let's see how the vargo performs on a horde of full health zombies on round 55 and it is still shredding it is still shredding. We got Shatter Blast activated, but you can see how much damage is doing per zombie. How many shots did it take in the head? Uh, I don't know how many shots it takes because it shoots so quickly, but it, it melts zombies. This is this would be the same exact way this gun performs all the way on round 935. Absolutely shredding them, and I have backed myself into a corner. So let me go ahead, kill all these zombies to get a fresh start because we need to make sure all the zombies that we're killing have full health. Let's also get rid of the Megaton because we're testing this against zombies, not bosses. All right, so now let's go ahead and test out the FFAR on round 55 with a full horde of zombies. And, ooh, it is hard to tell, honestly. They both shred, but... Oh, I think the Vargo might actually be better. It is so hard to tell. So let's try to get a single zombie real quick. And let's see how quickly this takes down a single zombie. 
about like that. Then we'll swap out to the FFAR. And so here's the FFAR against it. Let's not go down. And then here is the Vargo. Oh, I don't know. These are so similar. The Vargo seems to just be absolutely shredding them. And so is the FFAR. Like these are so close together. I think the Vargo might have a slight edge, but these are definitely both the two best ARs in the game. Like the Vargo has the better hit fire though. If we're hit firing the zombies here, that is fantastic. Pulling out the Vargo. Once again, amazing hit fire. It just shoots a little bit slower. Obviously the FFAR is shooting a little bit quicker. And I don't know, I guess the, I think the Vargo might have a slight edge though. It is just so close. It is hard to tell. And I don't have the exact damage numbers, but I can tell you right now, if this isn't the best AR in the game, it is so close. It is so close. It doesn't have the same ammo count. It only has 99 bullets in the clip where the FFAR, oh, we don't have mule kick anymore. The FFAR has 170. So that is another advantage the FFAR has. Either AR you're using, you really can't go wrong. They're both definitely the two best ARs in the entire game. And uh, <laughs> I am extremely excited for the new Scythe and the new SMG, because if they perform as well in zombies as this does, that is going to be absolutely fantastic. And I was down there and did not buy armor. I'm not sure why uh, we decided that we didn't need armor. Oh, and we used our self revive. So I don't know why I'm coming back up here to buy this instead of buying that. But you know, Ooh, there she goes. Yeah, so when we reload her, 174 bullets in the clip. Dude, it's just, there's... I think the FFAR has a little bit higher DPS, but the hip fire is not as good. Look at the hip fire with this. It's good, but it's not as good as the Dragon Executioner hip fire. We're going to go down again. I keep backing myself. This is why I don't like talking and playing, because usually when I'm talking, I just, I just walk right into corners like a complete idiot. But with that, boys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. How do you personally feel about the brand new AR here in Cold War Zombies? Or do you not have Modern Warfare? Were you not able to unlock this and you're waiting for the official release? As soon as I do officially release the weapon, I will be making, a, obviously, we'll make a video about it. And I'll be showing you the quickest way to go about unlocking that here in Cold War Zombies. But yep, that's going to wrap it up, boys. We got two more of these videos coming whenever we test out the new AR or the new SMG and test out the new, um, whenever we test out the new Scythe as well. We make an in-depth pack a bunch testing videos with that. And hopefully we get more than just those two weapons in Cold War future. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub or a YouTube member and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh. And then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, got to get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock Plus Plus members here on YouTube.